Okay. Okay, so we have downloaded all of our images from Google Chrome. We've saved them into our folder. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is open up our background picture. Um, we need to make a new file and then get that photo right in there. So we're going to do File, New. We're going to name it with your last name, underscore first name, underscore FL for Fantasy Landscape. We're going to make our preset US Paper. Now this is where it's up to you. You can either, either make it a portrait or landscape. If it's portrait, you want your width to be 8.5 by 11. If you want it to be landscape, you want to make your width 11 and your height 8.5, okay? Which is what I'm going to do. Make your resolution 300 pixels. Color mode should be CMYK. And everything else can stay as it is. Once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. All right, so now we have this blank piece of paper in front of us. First thing we need to do is save it because it hasn't been saved yet. So we're going to do a file, save as. Now save it either on your desktop or into your fantasy landscape folder. So I'm going to put it in my fantasy landscape demo files folder and then click save. So now it's saved. So you've saved your settings and you're ready to go. Now we need to get our background photo into our project. So you're not going to do a file open. You want to do a file place. So you can go file, place, navigate to your pictures, and I'm using my Times Square photo, and then click place. Now it comes in with this kind of X down the center of it. That means it's a linked file, and it's not actually embedded or glued to your project yet. So what we need to do is when you see this X, go ahead and hit the enter key. That's going to embed it into your project, but it's still not a rasterized photo. Look in your layers palette. You should see this little icon over here on your layer. From here, we need to do layers options and then choose... Excuse me, you need to right click and choose rasterize layer. And then that's going to flatten it into a regular old photo layer. You need to do that for every single one of your images. So we want this background picture to fill the space. Okay, so I'm going to move it up to the top left corner and then we're going to transform it. So we're going to do control T, pull from one of the corners while holding the shift key so you don't distort your photo. And I'm going to pull it out until it fits in my space. And then once you're done, hit enter twice. And that locks it into place. All right, so now that we have our background picture in place, I want you to do a file save. And go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.